Spiders Field Hockey, Fundamental Skills and Drills, Video Number 3, The Hit. Hitting Technique, Phase 1. Let's take a look at our hit. Alright, that's great. Here's our steps for that hit. If you notice, we're starting on our knees here, yet we're still tall and upright. You notice the player placed the ball one stick length away from her left knee. She measured that with her stick. You notice her hands are together near the top of the stick. A little choke up on the stick is fine there too. Most important part for me is swinging across your body. This field hockey hit is not at all like a golf swing. If anything, it's more like a softball bat swing. And so we want to make sure we have a good follow through to finish. So let's take a look at that hit again here. Uh, a little slow-mo. She's going to get the ball. Though she measures one stick length away on her left knee. Her hands are going to be together at the top of the stick. She brings the stick back just about waist height above the ground. She's going to swing across her body and finish with the stick about waist height as well. So let's see her do one more hit. So I'd recommend if you do this at home, uh, do this about maybe 10 times before moving on to phase two. Hitting technique phase two. So here the only difference is we have our player, she's gonna put her left leg up, uh, left foot on the ground with her knee bent at 90 degrees. And we're really just repeating phase one. Uh, ball one stick length away from the body. Uh, we're gonna stay nice and tall there. Bring the stick back to waist height and again, uh, swing across your body and have a good follow through. So let's take a look at that hit right here. Again, she makes great contact and a nice follow through. Again, I would say to do about 10 balls here for phase two uh, before moving on to phase three. Hitting technique, phase three. So now you can see it's time to stand up. And we've got our player nice and tall here. She's making a square on the ground here with these three cones and the ball. So each of these cones is one stick length apart with the ball making that fourth corner of the square. So again, each of these is one stick length. She measured that be, uh, right there before she did it. She starts with her feet together here at that back cone. She's gonna step with her left front foot to this cone right here. And as she lunges, You'll see a nice 90 degree knee bend that we did from phase two. And then she's gonna swing right across her body and have a good follow through. So let's take a look at this hit, phase three. All right, let's take a slow-mo on the last hit here. Uh, ball is placed right there at that corner of the square. She's going to have her feet together. She got, has a nice set there. Nice knee bend here too. She's going to bring the stick back there and lunge forward as she hits. Now if you notice right here, this is a great here. She has a nice knee bend right here. We want to make sure we're stepping into the ball and a nice front knee bend there. And she has that great follow through there to finish her hit as well. So I would do 10 more of these with phase three and now we're ready for phase four. Hitting technique phase four. So here you can see we have no cones, we've lost the cones. Uh, she's going to do the same thing in phase three except the ball is going to start back on her right foot. You'll see her push the ball forward so she's going to be hitting a moving ball. She'll step towards the ball and lunge. We'll see that nice knee bend again and she's gonna swing across her body and a good follow through. So let's check out the full hitting technique, hitting a moving ball. All right, let's slow-mo the last one down here. You'll see she starts the ball there is on her right foot. She's pushing it up now forward in front of her. The ball gets a little ahead, but that's okay because she steps and towards the ball there, nice knee bend, great follow through, and great balance to finish that shot. 
Again, I would do these about 10 of these, of so phase four. Once you're set with 10 of those, I'd go back and do phase one, 10 balls, phase two, phase three, and phase four again, um, and really work on your hitting technique. Great opportunity to have someone video you with your phone so you can really see how you're performing the hit at each of these phases. Thank you for watching. Remember, you can always rewatch, pause, and even rewind the videos to better learn the techniques presented. And it's always a great idea to have someone video you with uh, your smartphone while performing these skills and drills so you can compare your technique to what is demonstrated in the video.